everybody, welcome to another episode of The Bobby Experience. For uh, today's episode, uh, for this segment of the gig economy, I'm uh, doing my first episode about uh, doing DoorDash. Uh, I haven't done DoorDash for maybe about two months now, and this is my first time uh, doing DoorDash here in uh, Downers Grove, uh, a suburb of Chicago uh, here in Illinois. And uh, I picked up uh, the block from 4.30 to 9. So uh, normally I've been doing, as you know, the Postmates videos. And the reason I generally prefer uh, Postmates over DoorDash is because you can log on with Postmates anytime. But with DoorDash, you have to pick your your shifts and certain areas. And if let's say that like you want to uh, deliver in a certain suburb or a certain part of Chicago, but it's all filled up with drivers, you can't uh, deliver there. And you have to look at some other areas where uh, there's these blocks available uh, so that's one reason why I prefer uh, you know Postmates over DoorDash normally and another reason is because uh, with with Postmates uh, like I said before you can deliver where well where you want to deliver I mean you can just turn the app on uh, but I'd say that one advantage that DoorDash has over Postmates is that they're throughout the suburbs too so uh, they have a lot of that area, but Postmates, the only suburbs that I know that they have is uh, up there in Evanston and in uh, Oak Park. Uh, and Postmates is probably 90%, maybe that's a little too much, but they're mostly just in Chicago uh, for the market, market here in Illinois. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna get started soon. I'm gonna log on and start dashing as they call it. And uh, I'll let you know uh, how things are maybe if I get some good downtime in the middle of the day unlike the way it was with Saucy before in my previous episode where didn't get any downtime just going around like uh, running around like a chicken with my head cut off but today uh, tonight uh, hopefully there's a good amount of downtime where halfway through I can update you uh, let you know how it's going here and right in the suburb of Downers Grove and uh, all right so I'll get started all right so I got my first order Within um, 20 minutes, so it's about 4:50. I got it. Now it's 4:56. Made it to the restaurant. What's really neat is that we got, I got this uh, original DoorDash bag. It's this size, but from what I've seen, like some other DoorDash uh, delivery drivers, they've been given these smaller DoorDash bags with their, na their DoorDash name, and they're about the same size as Postmates. So now these are the size bags that we need uh, because there's some food items that are large orders or like these large items of food that are like pizzas and uh the small bags that wouldn't cut it so this is the kind of bags you need to give out again but maybe they're, they're giving the smaller bags to save cost i'm not sure but these bags i really like the other detail i'd like to mention about this bag is that it's a nice uh aluminum blanket so i just put some food in here and i wrap it around here it helps keep the food warm so yeah i can't st stop raving about this this bag all right so off i go to get the rest of this order uh, taken care of. Here's the detail I want to mention about the app. Uh, so after you're done with the delivery, you'll ask, how was the delivery? You know, it could say it's tough or was it great and what was great about it or what's tough about it? Was there easy parking? Uh, was it the dress easy to find? Things like that. So it looks like I have a delivery right after uh, my first one. It's at this uh, sushi restaurant. So even though I uh, signed up for Downers Grove, it, it the zone includes places that are uh, surrounding suburbs, like this place in Willowbrook here. Okay, on to my next one here, Moshi Sushi. I think that's how it's pronounced. All right, here we go. As you can see here that with uh, the sushi order has 16 items, so some orders have like a high number of items. Uh, the previous order at the taco restaurant had 14 items. So this is what uh, you can expect when uh, delivering for DoorDash, or even Postmates too. Another detail I want to mention about the app is if there's two or more of an item, uh, the app will ask if you got uh, that certain amount so then you're not missing any items when you're going to deliver to the customer. Like I said before, uh, being here in the Downers Grove uh, zone has me in the surrounding suburbs. Uh, this customer that I'm going to next uh, to drop off the sushi order is over in Burr Ridge. Got my next order right away, and it's at a Portillo's. And uh, here's a note uh, saying that uh, no cards uh, needed, uh, and that means that we don't have to scan a card, and the uh, food's going to be uh, ready for us to pick up. So in and out. 
All right, so one of my favorite things to get here is a uh, charbroiled uh, cheeseburger with cheese fries and uh, sometimes a shake. Yeah, Portillo's is one of my favorite restaurants growing up. Seems like these orders are coming back to back. I just got this other one from uh, Baker's uh, Field Wood Fire Grill. Uh, it sounds like a place that they serve steak. Maybe I'll eat there one day. Right here at Baker's Field Wood Fried Grill. All right, first time here. So uh, I'm gonna step on inside now. Here's a place that had this with common Portillo's. Uh, no need to pay, so uh, no need to scan a card. Uh, food's gonna be ready, just in and out uh, like Portillo's was. All right, so I got a couple seconds downtime. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, I've had four deliveries and I have uh, 47 96 so far that I've earned. I think that might be with without tips, I'm not entirely sure. But still for uh, the few hours I work from 4.30 to about, I think it's about seven, uh, seven o'clock, um, forty-seven dollars uh, is a pretty good amount. So I'm gonna keep going. Got another one from uh, Five Guys that just uh, popped up on my screen. I'll be heading there now. If you want to get a burger with plenty of fries, uh, Five Guys is the place to go. They just stack uh, all their own fresh cut fries uh, with their burger here. Looks like another quick order. Uh, another uh, one that's no need to pay. Uh, it's already been paid, and it's a uh, small order, just two uh, bacon cheeseburgers. Oh well, yeah, here's a quick tip. Uh, when you can, make sure like uh, you get like straws and ketchup and condiments uh, as needed. Uh, customers appreciate that. So I'm just getting the ketchup and uh, salt and pepper here. Very good stuff here. All right, let's move moving right along. First stacked order of the day. Uh, these two are over at uh, Portillo's that I've been going to, and I'm glad once again that it uh, no need to pay, uh, no need to scan. So just in and out with both of these. Get back here again. This Portillo's is a booming place. Yeah, DoorDash is right. Yeah, hot spot for orders. All right, here we go. Yeah, I just wrapped up my day. Uh, after that stacked order, I had uh, one last order at Portillo's. So I've had a number of orders, uh, mostly at Portillo's today. Now I'm just uh, enjoying this chicken sandwich here. So as for my totals, I had $79.97 for a little more than four and a half uh, hours of work. So it came out to about, about $20 an hour. That's pretty good money. and. Uh, I haven't done Postmates in a, I mean, I'm sorry, not Postmates, but DoorDash in a while. And I'm just reminded about how well I can get paid uh, with DoorDash, uh, even though I uh, lean more towards Postmates. So it makes me want to go to the suburbs more and uh, sign up for more uh, DoorDash shifts. Uh, we have very good money. I mean, I know that's gross pay, and of course, I gotta, uh, you got to pay the tax uh, folks, but tax write-offs. But seventy nine ninety seven dollars uh, for four and a half hours, a little more than four and a half hours of work. Well, I'm, uh, I'm a little uh, tired, but I'm not as stressed as I was when I delivered for Saucy uh, earlier this week on Friday. Uh, so uh, not bad. And uh, I look forward to doing DoorDash again, signing up for some more shifts. But uh, if you'd like to me uh, to give you uh, my referral, uh, yeah, just uh, write in the comments, or if there's anything you want me to clarify when it comes to me doing uh, DoorDash, uh, let me know in the comments as well. This is Bobby signing off with the Bobby Experience. Gonna eat and uh, have a great night. Take care. Hey, I stuck around till uh, the time they got uh, closed and uh, they're cleaning up, and I got a few root beer. All right, have a good night.